Okay, look at this. Do you see what's on your screen right now? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Show it, show it, show it, show it, show it. It's my birthday. This is my gift. There you go. This is called cop watching, okay? Public citizens go out and they record encounters with the police and the police with the public, okay? They say their goal is to remind people of what proper policing looks like, but also to spot check the police, policing the police. My next guest is one of the most famous or infamous, depending on your perspective on what he's doing, cop watching star. His name is Sean Paul Reyes. He goes by Long Island Audit on YouTube. His videos, nearly 150 million views on YouTube and growing. It's good to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Chris. I appreciate you. All right, so let's do the plus minus on this. What is the value, do you believe, in what you're doing? So the main purpose of what I'm doing is to try and bring education to the people and law enforcement. So education on both sides. Through, through me being an avid viewer of these type of interactions that have been posted online, now that I do them myself, I try and bridge the gap between law enforcement and the public and to teach people about their constitutional rights and to teach law enforcement. Now I have the privilege to teach law enforcement across the country um, on people's constitutional rights and how to deescalate and um, have a positive encounter. Cops sometimes do not like what you're doing. Uh, let's talk about the bad reason for that and the good reason for that. First, the bad reason. Why do you believe that police don't like what you're doing? And do they have any color of authority to stop you from doing it? So I believe that only um, a questionable officer would have an issue with what I'm doing. I'm only promoting transparency for we the people. I'm a big advocate for transparency and accountability within law enforcement. I'm not anti, anti-cop, anti I'm anti-bad cop. Um, I've made that clear since I started, but I think that they don't like it because they think I'm trying to catch them doing something they're not supposed to, as opposed to just documenting in general. And they really have no authority. As long as you're in public and you are keeping a safe distance and you're not interfering with law enforcement and, and their duties, you have a constitutional right to film law enforcement while they're engaging in their official duties in public. What do you make of the criticism that you're just trying to piss them off? You follow them around in public buildings when they're not even having encounters with the public just because you can to be annoying. Well, I would say to that is that I'm, I'm, I don't agitate the police officers. If I would invite anyone to watch my videos at Long Island Audit on YouTube and to see if I really agitate anyone, because that is not my goal. I, I, I think that my reputation speaks for itself as far as police departments across this country inviting me to into their departments in order to train their officers and bridge the gap and collaborate with them in order to bridge that gap between the law enforcement and the public. So I think my work speaks for itself. I am simply peacefully exercising my constitutional rights, and I'm trying to teach everyone out there, the hundreds of millions of people who watch my videos, about their rights. But you've been arrested before. We were just showing one of your videos where, like, you're asking this uh, law enforcement officer something. It gets pissed off. He pushes the camera back. You're right in his face. Uh, is there a little bit of what you're doing that is provocative on purpose? Because it, you're going to get more views if you get roughed up by the police. Well, that is true. You would get more views if, if police go hands on with you. But again, my, my work speaks for, itself, speaks for itself, Chris. I am not trying to agitate any law enforcement officers. That law enforcement officer in particular, Sergeant Brian Fave, the Connecticut State Police Department, agitated himself. He was not too pleased that I was recording outside of the um, Connecticut State Police headquarters. I would definitely not characterize as my cell phone was in his face. He approached me, not the other way around. And, you know, he assaulted me in that instance. But again, that is not my intention to harass anyone. I would agree that, you know, these kind of encounters, they do um, more physical encounters, get more views. But that's I, I, I let the officer deal with that. They, they're going to do what they want to do. I can't control another man's actions. I am pro transparency. Uh, and I think that the more people see good policing, bad policing, I think it's good for good police officers. And I think they're overwhelmingly good. Um, it's good to call out what is the bad apple so that people don't cast it on the general. I like what you're doing. 
Um, I, I wish you good luck in doing it. It's a little dangerous <laughs> what you're doing. Not everybody's going to see it the same way. And you're messing with the people who have the power. Uh, and, you know, luckily you have a camera and hopefully it captures everything that happens. You may need it uh, to help yourself as well as to help others. But thank you we very the people much. Have the power. People should check it out thank online. You, we the people, we absolutely convey the power. But once we give it to others, we got to be careful how they use it. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.